Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more End of the Gungeon. Me, the Gungeon. One major thing. I finally made a list of the items we are missing and how to get them. And, uh, boy. Literally every single gun is from the Frightful Challenge. Every single passive is from the other things. I guess I never realized the Frightful Challenge has only gave you guns. It's uh, the kind of funny thing you notice only when you actually start to write it down. But yeah, anywho, here we go. I will list off the things and what they are and what we gotta do, etc, etc. It's just a couple varying things. Every gun, yeah, just from the Frightful Challenge. Pl platinum bullets, obviously. Then we also need to kill the Gatling Gull 20 times, which is just... It, it may actually end up being one of the later things. I mean, we'll, truth be told, we will probably get through all of the frightful challenges before that happens. I'm a lazy man. I just want to open this up right away. But yeah, I mean, honestly, the Gatling Gull 20 times, it's just a, it's a, it's a stats thing. You know, you will get there eventually. In theory, if they all showed up evenly, we would get the Gatling Gull by around episode 60. You would think. You would think. I don't know that that's actually going to happen, but that's, yeah, to get the ticket. Tickets to the gun show, which is a, you know, it's a really good item. It's actually kind of, kind of an OP item. It used to be really broken, and then they patched. It's one of the few items they patched in uh, to make weaker. I think they only did that like once or twice or something. It's, it's crazy. But shell is actually really good. Uh, another thing we need, we need the Cat Bullet King Throne, which I am actually a little surprised we don't have. Because to get that, all you need to do is beat the Bullet Bullet King ten times. So I'm like, I'm thinking, what the hell is happening? Have I been getting, I must have been getting a lot of uh, Trigger Twins. <laughs> I mean... Statistically, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised we don't have the, the Gatling Gull, but the, the fact we don't have 10 Bullet King kills is a little surprising. We're probably really close to getting that item. Probably really, really close. Uh, up, up. And then there's a few other ones that we're probably, like, really, really close to. Uh, the Owl Gunsling King 10 times. That shouldn't be too bad. In fact, it's another one that I'm... A little surprised we don't have yet. A little surprised, but not that surprised. And then we need to get the turkey. We need to use the pet shrine twice. I. Oh my god. I think uh, I'm almost certain. Almost certain that we've used it once. So I think we just need to get the pet shrine another one time. That'll happen. It, 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 shrines aren't that common. Here's like one thing about Gungeon. I wish shrines were more common. I really do. I think they're fun. I, I think they add some variety. I think, I mean, yeah, maybe some of them are, are really too strong, but... <laughs> I, I Would you believe me if I said that I pressed the spacebar button to dodge because I just got done playing Hyperlight Drifter? Go watch the Hyperlight Drifter series. Oh my god, it's so good. Such a good game. Uh, not such a good suit. <laughs> it's every time! You know what? That is, uh, I'm gonna be mad now every time. Literally the only one we don't want. I mean, it's... Honestly, I find them to be one of the easiest bosses on the first floor. Uh, <laughs> one of the easiest means that I definitely don't think they're the hardest. But I think they might be the... They might be the easiest. He says, knowing full well that you should never say that in the middle of the fight, because that is exactly when you get hit. But yeah, now I'm going to get uh, all up in arms literally every time we get the Trigger Twins. It's going to be like Rhapsody, but for a different reason. Thank you. Thank you, next. But we need a, we need a decent amount of creds, but let's be honest, we are definitely going to get 200 credits before <laughs> we're going to get 200 credits before we get anything relating to close to being done with the frightful challenges. It's they're going to take forever. They're going to be they're going to be the last thing. Unless we went out of our way to literally just jump to the floors where they are. And honestly, I don't know. That doesn't sound doesn't sound in the spirit, and I feel like people don't 
in a weir weird way, I think you guys don't want this series to be done, you know? And in a weird way, I mean, not that weird. Because I think people are probably concerned, and I am, like, a little weary in a way that it feels like when we beat the Gungeon and this, this objective is done, that we're kind of like, okay, is normal Gungeon done forever? And I just, I feel like it won't be. But we'll see. I, like, who knows? Who knows? Who freaking knows? I love the series. I love the game, obviously. You don't put a thousand, hundred hours into a game that is Duke. But I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what's next after this. And it, after this, and the uh, the modded series, like that's that's spooky. It's such a mainstay. It's such a mainstay. But, you know, I hopefully over the years, uh, or if you're brand new here, by the time this gets wrapped up, uh, you, well, first of all, hopefully you're going to be excited about Mod the Gungeon series, because I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about that. Hopefully by the time we do this series, there's even some more fun mod stuff. I I don't know, I think that they, uh, the ability to make modded guns is a thing now. It was not a thing before. I think it's a thing now. But uh, I'm really pumped to check out some new uh, some new stuff custom content like custom characters made by you guys made by other people everything like that custom items you know like consider this a call to action the next series after this is a mod the gungeon series when will that happen i don't know uh when it when it's when it's done hey hey this gun actually sucks <laughs> like really bad because you, it uses your money. It sucks really bad except on bullet hell. And then it's like, it's not it's not that bad. It, it's, it's pretty strong-ish in its damage. But the fact that it uses your money as, as ammo, it's pretty rough. Which, honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, having it locked behind a paywall. or It's not even locked behind a paywall. But, and, and then having it be OP, it would almost feel kind of weird. It's like if uh, Platinum Bullets and Microtrans Transaction Gun had their roles reversed. I'd feel a little, I'd feel a little salty. Like, I wouldn't want to save up 200 credits for Microtransaction Gun. But I also uh, wouldn't feel right about making the payment, even if, you know, even if it's only 100 for Platinum. So I'm like, you know, I'm pleased with what they did. I'm pleased that it's, <laughs> it sucks. But I want to finish my other thought. Call to action. Guys, make mods for Gungeon. And uh, you'll, uh, in, when the next series comes, I'll play your mods. If they're, uh, if, if they're polished, if they're polished, if they seem fun, I'll add them to my mod pack. And some ways to, I, mostly, let me, let me be clear, mostly items. Characters, I feel like we're gonna get quite a bit of them, and I'm, you know, mean characters, I don't know. Well designed, like if it's a custom character, well designed character, a character with custom items, they might become a mainstay in the series. Like, so, you know, if you got some ideas cracking around up there, I know for a fact that Kyle the Scientist has some, oh my god, some tutorials on how to make this stuff. I think he made a, a custom items mod um, tutorial. So get to, you know, if you want to have stuff in that next series, to be a part of it. Now's like a really good time to get cracking. You can, uh, you can be in the beginning part of the series that way. Should be a lot of fun. All right, we did not get enough money. That's okay. We want another key? I think we want another key. I like having at least two keys when I move to the next floor. I required? I don't think so. But... Keys are really important. If you if you run into an item or a chest that you don't have a key, you lose that item. What a shocker. What a wild concept. But Gunner is like, okay. Flak Bullets is really fun. Flak Bullets is one of those ones where I really have a hard time pinning down how strong, whoa, how strong it actually is. It's good in situations like that, obviously. But I have a hard time really pinning down how good it actually is. Whoop, whoop, bep, 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 bep. Because it bounces off. It's good for, obviously, it's good for AoE clearing. 
Like it helps you. It helps you kill. Like, look, I'm killing two two birds. Get, no, feeding two birds with one scone. Change the message. All right. But yeah, the gunner also we uh, we can basically just have a hell of a lot of HP. Keep on regenerating it back as long as we can regenerate ammo. So we get Holy Grail. Uh, we can uh, be not invincible, but like you can do a lot with it. You can you can get hit a lot, and it won't really matter too much. I wonder if um, antibody and gunner have a synergy, like not synergy, but I mean, maybe they have a synergy. But I'm talking soft synergy. How uh, antibody makes it so you. Whenever you pick up health, you sometimes heal for a full heart instead of a half heart if it's a half heart. Sometimes heal for a heart and a half if it's a full heart. I wonder if that has a if that works with the uh, with the gunner head. That'd be pretty dang slick. Always, always and forever. I don't know if I always recommend it truly, but for me, it's an always and forever, and that's like god dear. That's one of two of the things that you get like all the time at this stage of the game. The other one is the stinking stankin' uh, actually we, we ooh, don't have two master on so we couldn't have it yet. The stinking stankin' whatchamacallit. Uh, alien engine? No. Marine sidearm. No. Alien sidearm. There we go. We got it there. We got flag bullets with the drill. Oh. Oh, the memes. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we need to save our blanks up because we need, 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 need to get this master round. If we don't get this master round, I will cry forever until I die, okay? Because this combo is crazy. It's like, I mean, you can see. Look at how much damage it does. Rita, what the hell is happening? Let me try to explain, but I don't really know exactly why it's happening. But like, it. Uh, so when you shoot out a bullet, beep, 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 beep. even if it lands on the ground there, you see, Boop, it splits off. It doesn't have to hit the wall. So effectively, this shoots out a bunch of bullets, invisible bullets a second right here. So does Casey, but with one big hit. So it's breaking immediately. Therefore, it's firing up a bunch of them all the time. And the shots from flak bullets do a percentage of the damage. Interesting. Interesting. Glad we bought that key now. Uh, does a percentage of the damage of the weapon. It does a lot of damage. Because normally the trade-off is it does a lot of damage. But you got to get close. Not so much anymore. Oh, boy. That's a good combo. By combo, I mean literally just having a shield. Okay, so how much is a key? 35. 28. Let's just... We got two blanks. Boss damage cap will ruin my day a little bit, but... I hate it. I hate it. The stress is insane. It's so much... It's so much bigger of a deal than just the master round. So much bigger of a deal. I don't care if it's like, oh God. I'm nude. The stress is unreal. Oh, we did it, okay. <laughs> now we get to keep this synergy forever. Good, 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 good. We wouldn't have been able to have the drill later. Thank God, that was so stressful. <laughs> oh, that was so stressful. Keys are very important right now. Uh, like, I know I always say to prioritize keys, but when you get the Ring of Chess Friendship, like, really prioritize keys. Like, prioritize the hell out of keys. Prioritize the hell out of keys when you get this. Because, uh, you know, you're going to be running into a bunch of bunch of chests that you may not be able to open otherwise. What is this synergy? Armored core. It's 
Seems like it's coming out slower. Is it? I mean, this is definitely shooting a different color. You see what I'm saying? It, like, takes a second before it speeds up there. <laughs> I tried to roll at the perfect angle, but, uh, look at that. Read of the God here. I knew that there was a secret room, and I knew I didn't have any blanks left. I hate this room. It, this is, like... I, I hate to, to say that rooms are poorly designed, because everyone is just, like, so quick to say, you're just, uh, you're just salty. But... Look at how much room you have to dodge. And look at, you can't see any of the enemies at the top. I think this room is poorly designed. Truth, truth be told, I don't think it's one of the better designed rooms. Okay. Hold the chamber gun. Go on down. So if you are, uh, if you're holding the chamber gun, when you go down to the next floor, I think it's a bug. I don't think it's on purpose. But, like, it's thematically appropriate. It fills itself up. That's why you might have been like, why would you, why are you, like, saying that this is the best gun ever and then you uh, don't even fill it up? Because I know what I'm doing, okay? Because, uh, yeah, it fills itself up for free. It's a free, it's a free green ammo case if you're holding it when you go down the next floor. I don't think it fills up if you're not holding it. I think that you have to be holding it. I think it's a bug. But maybe it's a bug they heard about and then left in the game because it seems kind of thematically appropriate. And it seems kind of fun. Maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. I don't know. Happy to have it, though. This combo is just crazy. Flak Casey. Flak, uh... Flak Alien Engine to a lesser extent. If you get Flak, uh... Flak and Alien Engine, you kind of need... Heavy boots to go with it. This does not seem worth it to me when we have Ring of Chest Friendship. We're going to get offered a much better use of a key. Because um, unlocked brown chests, I, I guess I, I don't know for a fact. But through extreme trial and error and uh, like testing by playing as, you know, just playing as long as I have, it seems as though... Unlocked brown chests have a worse item pool than locked brown chests. It's kind of a different story when you've unlocked the finished gun. Kind of. Because I do believe the finished gun is in that is in the unlocked brown chest pool. However, for us in our current situation... What the hell? For us in our current situation right now, I say uh, we're probably better off with something else. Not to say there's not potentially a great item in there. Because there totally could be. But unless and maybe even if we leave this floor with five keys. I don't know. I don't know that I'm interested. Because we're just very likely to get a lot of chests. Ring of Chest Friendship is a great, great item if you can get the keys to supply it. Great. Unbelievably great. I think we should switch to another gun for a little bit here. Bloop. 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 <laughs> you troll. You dirty troll. I was trying to dirty troll you. I would like some ammo back. Otherwise, I won't be able to use it on the boss, which is definitely what I want to do. I thought that maybe I'd get an ammo drop by now. So we have not mentioned the marine curse that I seem to have, which is another thing that's anecdotal that, like, I, I have way less proof for. In fact, I have no proof for, hence anecdotal. It just, um, it seems like every time I play as the marine, I seem to have more ammo issues. It's almost like he's hard-coded to have a little bit more ammo problem. To make up for the fact that he starts with the, the supply drop. That, I don't think that's true. Well, I don't think it's true. I think it is just anecdotal, but... I think if you went back and you looked at every single run... I've had this series and last series and put it all together... And took a tally of any run that I've complained about my ammo... I would... T I, I, I honestly think, genuinely honestly think... 
that you would find um, that 75% of the runs were marine runs. I'm actually going to sell that. I'm going to sell a lot of this stuff. We don't need a lot. I'm a wild boy. I'm going to keep this just in case we get... Um, I keep items I, w I still want to experiment with. I'm going to keep it in case we get... Holy Grail. Because I, I definitely feel like I want to play around with that. I do have some research to do. I should have just bought the ammo right now. I don't really care if we get the mass around for um, synergy's sake. I'd like it for HP's sake, just because, you know, it's fun to have. It's nice to have safety. It lets me feel like I can play goofier. Should we do it? It does not bad damage. Like, it, it does good damage. Whoop. At the cost of money, though. Look at it go. It also shoots out little projectiles that do different things. Boy, we spent so much money, though, just for the joke of it. We could have done the same thing without this gun. You know what I always wish they would have done? Made it so if you uh, tried to fill up your microtransaction gun with ammo, it added a, like a flat amount of money. Okay, so we don't need to fill that up. What do we want to fill up? I guess I'll fill up this. I don't know that I want to spend my one key on the ballot. The funny thing is, both of these together would be really good. Separately, I don't care a ton about them. This is not bad, but I, I guess I just, I got plenty of HP. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm not gonna die. I know that. Please fill up the gun. Thank you. Even though I know it works, it always doesn't feel like it's going to. It's one of those weird things. Man, I miss the old bug that does not exist anymore. But I do have a video on it on for Meat Bun. You used to be able to break... Like, if you got Meat Bun, you won the game. Like, literally. Because it used to be... If you got Meat Bun, and then you saved and quit the game, it would be permanent. And it's as great... <gasps> Boy. It's as crazy as it sounds. Triple tap! Every third shot that you land on an enemy regenerates ammo. I don't know how well it works with this. I don't know if it works with this. Especially since these are not... I can't, I can't tell. It doesn't look like it... doesn't look like it works. That's okay. I... Ooh! Maybe it did. I wouldn't expect it to. The three shots need to hit. So maybe they're not hitting. I just, I don't, I don't know. Oh God, I love this though. I love this. Uh, I love getting like game breaking things like this. Go figure, right? The funny thing is it's so OP, but when we get to bullet hell, the final form of it is Arguably, not arguably, inarguably, inarguably stronger than this even. And that's crazy. Like, what a free run this was. But the fun thing about Gungeon is, the fun thing about Roguelikes is, it's a, it was a free run to me because I know about the combo. Like, if you don't know to try something like that, it's not a free run at all. You don't know that it's a thing. Why does it... Why is it so far out there? If you don't know to try it, it's not a free run. So hopefully I help somebody get a, get a, a free win that would otherwise be a challenge. But yeah, it's crucial to get the, the master round so that you can use the synergy on bonus floors. It's not, a, it's not a synergy, but it's one of those things where it's a soft synergy that's way stronger than oh, like most actual synergies by a lot like it's crazy there, there's a synergy that makes a gun have less accuracy I don't know what I'm doing with that yet if you have to pick between um, oh my god between 
the Lost Adventure between Lonk and a chest. I usually say Lost Adventure because you can junk chests. You cannot junk the Lost Adventure. Also, especially, especially if they are blue tier, because I believe that the Lost Adventure um, picks from the item pool of liter wow, literally every item. So, I could be wrong, but it, it, it sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. So, statistically, uh, unless there's a, you know, green chest. Hey, you again. Hey, you again. Unless it's green that you're picking between, you're probably statistically better off getting a better item from Lost Adventure anyways. I, it seems. In fact, like, I feel like I don't get garbage from the Lost Adventure. It might be that the Lost Adventure doesn't give you anything lower than, uh, lower than a blue tier. But, yeah, in the event of having to pick between the two, I would go with the Lost Adventure. Because you can junk the chest, maybe you get junkin'. Maybe you get, you might get an item anyways. You might, you know. Okay, shop discount, I guess. I kind of just want to save my money and use microtransaction gun on the next floor. Because I never, I never actually use it. But I do. I never actually use the item because there's usually not a real point. And also, I, I feel like I don't get it very often is another thing. I, I, it feels rare. Kind of thankfully, to be honest, but like, yeah, it feels rare. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do it. So usually I open green chests over the lost adventurer. I'd be annoyed if I didn't have, uh, <laughs> already have Excalibur. So we're gonna wanna tap shoot this. And we're gonna want to get hit because otherwise we're gonna rip through the ammo too quickly. Also, we're not even reaching. There we go. Uh oh. Tap shoot. You can hold it down a little bit longer than we're holding it. Blank at the right time, you can cease them from even spawning, which is a lot of fun. Saves you time, saves you annoyance. I feel like a lot of the times I get hit on this fight to this day are from those fools. All right. Gonna save the drill ammo for the heart here. Bloop, bloop. It's only 21, but it honestly, it might do it. If I hold space hold. Oh no! <laughs> we almost didn't do it because of the reload. But it still didn't even matter. Even if you don't have black bullets, the drill is. Even like the bubble blaster, even. They're freebies. They're freebies. Not gonna buy that other garbage. We get to use. Okay, so if you're going down to bullet hell, this is the part that trips me up. You have to be holding this gun right now. If you want it to be filled up, you have to be holding it right now. Boop. Because it doesn't give you the option to switch your guns, I believe, right? Didn't double check it, but there we go. We got it filled up and boop, 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 boop. Probably one of the best guns in the game, <laughs> but it is obviously situational. Honestly, I'll, I'll just take that as a as a whoops room. The game said, "Whoops, sorry, you didn't you didn't mean to come in here." That's okay. Fill up the ammo. It never happened. We I think okay. Apparently we have we must have amulet with hit lord because it wasn't one of the items I marked down. That's uh, push a hundred enemies into pits. I was gonna. I, I guess it makes sense. A hundred feels like a lot, but we're uh, we're we push. Uh, we gotta push at least two into a, a pit each run, right? And we're fifty over fifty episodes in now, just barely. 
Man, what were they thinking with this item? I don't know. I love it. I'm glad they I'm glad they weren't thinking that or they were just literally were like, here, let's make an item so that people who just don't like bullet hell have something to be really excited about. <laughs> it's junky! <laughs> I didn't have any junk. Well, if we get anything from uh, Ring of Chest Friendship, that'd be great. What a waste of a junk and run, though. I feel like there's been a handful of runs recently where I wanted junk and but wasn't able to get them. Okay. Pop him. Pop him, lock him. Yeah, if you're having trouble with... If you're having trouble with bullet hell, you could literally just, like, reset until you get chamber gun. <laughs> if you want. If, you, if you're having no, uh, the easiest time in the world getting to chamber or to, to bullet hell, but cannot for the life that you beat it, yeah, just do that. Hold the chamber gun when you go through that door. Let it get filled up. Easy peasy. Victor easy. Okay. Did we only get like two lead maidens? I feel like that's crazy. I feel like that's crazy. It's gonna take a while. If you're sad about the series ending, me, me talking the series ending after uh, I, I get all the items, rest assured, we have how many guns left? Let's see. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guns left. And they're all going to take roughly this long, I believe. So do not fear. It's not going to happen for a while. If it takes... If it took five episodes per challenge, which honestly seems maybe low, then that means we have 35 episodes left. And I don't think that's the case. I think it's gonna take longer. Okay, really wanna make sure to stutter fire so we don't waste our ammo. Because here's the thing, you, you just hold it down like this, yeah, his health is going down pretty well, but you can get, like... I mean, you do have to be close enough for it to actually hit him. But you can see that. Like, look at that. It goes down a lot quicker while we're holding it like that. It goes down quicker. You, you might... I think you do technically do more damage if you hold it down, but you're also kind of wasting your ammo. And when it's a situation like this where it's such a good gun... We do have other, other guns that will work just fine. But... I feel like you want to make sure you get to use your OP gun on uh, the next phases of the guy as well. And if it turns out we get to phase three, we got a decent amount of ammo left, which we won't even at this rate. God. Save your blanks for that. Like, seriously, if you're looking for lich tips, I uh, he, he shouldn't be able to do that move after that move without... A little bit more of a delay window I feel like it was to this day I feel like it's a mistake Bloop. Bloop. there we go what else we got oh I paid 99 cents for this in fact I actually paid a full 10 bucks because you I think they took away the ability to buy it with buy it alone I think you have to buy the soundtrack and the, the digital comic. Which I did. But the item itself is technically 99 cents. Alright, alright. Bam! It done! So I, get, I just realized we do get a mark off the turkey from our little list here. And we will go out, we will check how many credits we have, which is, you know, we'll probably get platinum bullets. We'll probably get, at this rate, we'll probably get platinum bullets. I uh, mean, we get like, what, 40, 40 an episode? 
so it's a five episode total thing probably glad we got the turkey though still still deathless still deathless loving that loving that fact 31 okay Ooh. doesn't matter it's it's not the last thing oh my god 21 lead maiden that's two each episode maybe even less or has it been three episodes it might be even less that's insane all right well that's gonna do it for today thank you everybody for watching greatly appreciate any and all support we wish to leave on this series up to this point share with your friends who need help with gungeon check out my hyperlight drifter series it's only gonna be like maybe six parts five six parts probably so it should be a very easy time time allotment for you so go check it out thank you for watching though that is gonna do it for today thank you thank you thank you everybody for watching <laughs> extra special thank you to Aotsu and Throbo almost forgot supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier you absolute hooligan champions if you want to support on Patreon I'm going to be up in my rewards this year and uh, going to get grandfathered in meaning if you are supporting now you'll get a cheaper rate at better stuff when it shows up so thank you for watching though thank you thank you see you next time <laughs>